Barry. I'm just gonna hear squeaking sounds during our intro. Hi everyone! Hello! We are back. Uh, in case you're new to the channel, I'm Kathleen. I'm the twin that desperately needs a tan. And I'm Kim. I'm pretty much the same exact no. skin color, so I don't know what no, no, she's no. talking about. definitely a difference. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> today we are going to do our everyday makeup routine. Mm -hmm. It's a new year. We're into one month of the new year. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we've got some new products that we've been loving. So, yeah, yeah. we'll show you guys our everyday makeup. Okay, let's get started. Step number one for my daily makeup routine. I'm going to pull my hair. Fix the hair. I don't have a fancy mirror like Kathleen does. You guys can't see this, but she has like a big fancy mirror came, that has like lights and stuff on it. But I didn't turn the lights on. I came prepared. All I have is my eyeshadow palette <laughs> <laughs> mirror. Okay, lip moisturizer. Yep. What are I'm you using? I'm using the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in grapefruit, which smells really good. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this lip balm by Dear Dahlia. It's a clean beauty product. Oh, it looks like a lipstick, but it's a balm. Oh, how cute. Yeah. Look at the packaging. Is really oh, cute. is there a tint to this? Why do I feel like my lips look redder? I don't know. That's nice, though. Yeah. I would prime my face, but I have no prime. I still don't have a primer. Oh, okay. Can you want some of my primer? Sure. Okay. I use the Laura Mercier... Foundation Pri Foundation Primer Radiance. This yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Loop for you. Or for me and some for you. You next up foundation. My foundation's always the same. I don't really stray. Because, I mean, if it works, it works. So I'm going to be using my uh, First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer in Bronze. And also my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation in Buff. These two combined will hopefully get me looking less pale and more like a human being. Okay. <laughs> Humans can be pale. Not me. <laughs> Okay, well, my foundation is this Kosas Tinted Face Oil that I've been loving and using for a really long time. This is also a clean makeup product, and I'm using um, color number seven, which I feel like is just a teensy tiny bit darker than what I am right now, but that's okay because it's cheating. This is why I feel pale. No, this is when I wish I had a mirror because like look at you looking in your nice mirror. <laughs> I'm over here looking in the viewfinder wondering if like I've got everything all smoothed in. Well, next time come prepared. So I gotta buy a mirror? You don't own a mirror? Mm -mm. Oh, no. you know what? Oh, here I got this tiny little one. <laughs> Okay, so my foundation is on. Next thing I'm going to do is conceal my um, pimples. Pimples and under eyes. I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in 3N. So here, and here. Am I going and slow there. or something? I think you might be. I'm feeling sluggish today, this morning. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling pretty energized. I was really happy that I woke up before 9 o'clock, <laughs> which made me feel like I am a go-getter today. What did you just put on your face? Concealer. It smells like sunscreen. That is all. <laughs> I don't want... Smell it. I don't smell it. Most of my... Um... Makeup, I apply with my fingers, like we said in our last beauty tutorial or 
last beauty video. Uh, I wish I had a napkin to wipe my hands Me off. Me too. Like Anyways, the concealer that I use is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am almost out of this product, and as much as I love it, I think I'm going to try to look for a very similar clean beauty mm -hmm. alternative to this. But I've been loving this for a really long time, and the color that I'm using is custard. Custard. In case anyone is, Teddy in case custard. Anyone is wondering. Okay. I feel like Kim's a step behind. Um, next, where do you put your concealer? Everywhere. <laughs> uh, no, I just swipe it over, you know, my blemishes and then my under eyes. And sometimes I try to, you know, conceal the redness that's around my nose. So I put it around my nose. Next. Next. Now slow next? down a minute. I got this tiny little mirror. <laughs> okay, we'll just wait. Okay, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Next thing I'm gonna do is apply bronzer. For my everyday makeup, I don't really contour a whole lot or like at all. So I'm just gonna do some bronzer just to give my face a nice little glow because I <laughs> looking so pale you guys I need sun I don't, I need don't know sun. what you're talking you don't want that vitamin pale. D I feel like a vampire you don't look that pale anyways <laughs> so I am going to be using I don't know what this is called I got this as a gift it up. it's a tart thing what do you call it's a these? Pineapple. Yeah. Palette. Pa mm. No. What do you mean? What do you no, call? No, because like it's it? got a bunch of stuff in it. Like it's got. It's really dirty. Um. On one side of the pineapple, you've got your eyeshadows, and then on the other side, you have like bronzer and blush. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Oh, and there's a mirror. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold that giant. Okay, that mirror is the same size yeah. as this mirror. Yeah. Okay, and that thing's like <laughs> huge. <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm just going to use the bronzer here. Dip into that. I don't know what it's, what the bronzer name is. It doesn't have it on here. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Here we go. Okay, well, I feel like we've kind of delineated. We're delineating now. Mm -hmm. Our paths are... Delineating? What a big <laughs> word. <laughs> Our paths were going, we were going down the same path and now we're going off to a different one because I like to put on <laughs> I know, powder. big words too, bifurcating. <laughs> I'm just saying big words now. No, that means to like split. Oh, okay. Okay, well I'm gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Taught you a new word today. Bifurcating. Mm -hmm. Word of the day. <laughs> I like to set all the area this, that I put the concealer on by like patting, pushing, pushing the powder onto my skin. And then I do the rest of my face just like buffing. Can we just take, can I just take a break? Oh, I don't have any tea or anything. Oh, God. What a ungracious host. You didn't, you made tea for yourself and you didn't offer me any tea. You know your way around the kitchen. You can get your own tea, <laughs> coffee, whatever, whatever. Am I not a guest? Mm-mm. Hmm. Well, now I know. Now I know. Can I just have a sip of here? <laughs> oh yes. Okay, now I do my bronzer and I'm using what I use every day because this is an everyday makeup tutorial. Mm -hmm. The Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer in Blaze. Blaze. I've been using this for a couple months now and I feel like I still haven't quite gotten the trick of how to like properly apply it. Like I end up 
getting it in places that I don't want to, but I'm sure I do it perfectly now that I'm in front of a camera, because that's the way it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm going to apply some blush, and I'm going to be using the Ilia Cheek to Cheek Multi Stick. Yeah. Mm -mm. And I'm still over here trying to blend this bronzer in without messing it up. Ooh, okay. I really put the pack that bad boy on. Okay, and then I like to put the excess up top here and down my jawline. I think I did okay on that side. That side usually isn't the problem, it's this side that's the issue. Oh, I didn't know you had a problem side. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, see, um... I could probably do a whole makeup look without using a brush or like any tool. <laughs> Ugh, like I could nose use fingers like, only. Yeah. Look, maybe we should do that, like a makeup challenge. No, no, um... No, no, uh, what do you call it? Tools? Fingers okay. only. Fingers only makeup look. Not bad, Kim. Not bad. Can you even see my blush? Let me see. No. I feel like I put a lot, but... Alright, let's just go in. Let's go ham. Can you see it now? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, for my blush, I'm using this Oak and Fort color wash in the color... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think it says. Cream blush. Is it that the it. color? Casardas? Oh, God. Sure. Anyways, I'm really proud of myself because I hit pan... Ooh. On this. And I've never, ever hit pan on anything. Me either. Me either. So. Okay. I'm going to just put just a teensy tiny itty bitty bit of highlighter on. And I'm using the same highlighter um, I used in my last video, the RMS. Now wait, now I didn't get to tell, did you say where you put your blush? Oh, uh, I just put my blush on my cheeks and then across the bridge of my nose. I also like to put blush on my pat, cheeks. Pat, pat. And the bridge of my nose. I really like this color because I feel like it is actually the color that I turn when I get a little sunburn. Oh. oh, I don't get flush. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why would I be getting flush? <laughs> if you're like working out or something? No, okay. I just get sweaty. I don't get... Okay, so I'm using the Magic Luminizer. Oh, Luminizer in the color Magic. And I'm just going to use my is that, sure, is that correct? Are you sure? Yeah, it, the, the color is Magic. I remember because I have two different colors. Magic and like something else. Anyways, and I'm just going to put this um above my cheekbone on like just all the areas where the light hits so you know light hits here light hits you here here look at this area you know the huge the huge the huge i'm gonna try to use it sparingly because this is an everyday look we're not you know going full glam sometimes i have a heavy hand with this I feel like I can take my time doing my blush because I don't, I'm not going to put on um, any highlighter because my tinted oil is so dewy looking that I feel like I just, like for a regular day, I don't really need any more highlighter type stuff on my face. Mm. So I've got blush, bronzer, highlighter on. Next thing I'm gonna do, um, lately I've been trying to, <laughs> this is gonna seem really sad, but 
I don't ever or I have not really ever like done any winged eyeliner. Can we and take a moment to just like appreciate the face makeup that I've done? Why is it spectacular? I don't know. I just feel like I look pretty cute right now. Okay. <laughs> just I feel I look tired. Okay. So yes, I'm going to try to do a little winged eyeliner, and I'm using the Oakenfort O-Liner Eyeliner. Mm. I have that same eyeliner, and I tried, I tried, and I just couldn't figure out. It's, I guess, you know, since it's like a, maybe I shouldn't be using, maybe I should be using like a pencil instead of like a, like a, what do you call it? Yeah, this? it has like a, the, um felt tip or whatever yeah. you want to say it's not focusing oh there we go <laughs> yeah the like felt tip like wet liquid liner but you know this is what I got so I'm gonna try it okay I might be off screen for a little bit no you can't be off screen. well I really need to have my move mirror. your mirror over Okay, well, I'm also going to do a bit of an eyeliner situation, but before I do that, I'm going to put just a little bit of shadow oh, yeah. you on my eyes. yeah. Thanks for saying eyes. that. I'm also going to do that, too. My bad. I'm going to be using my Naked palette that Kathleen got for me more than a year ago. <laughs> more than two years ago. Yeah. We talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um I just feel bad like what am I what am I supposed to do? Throw like look at this. I'm supposed to throw this away? Like that's a waste. I cannot. Okay. Anywho. What color are you using? Um, I'm gonna be using Faith. Okay, Faith. The what color is Faith. What, what color is that? It's this just like a medium. Okay. Very nice. And I might do also a little bit of lookout mm -hmm. if I am feeling like I want it to be a little darker, a little more dramatic. But we'll we'll start with the uh, Faith and we'll see. Okay. Because you gotta have Faith. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be using for my eyes this Laura Mercier Caviar stick in rose gold it's this is like a little sample size i actually really like is it this the sample size? yeah it's they're normally like this oh, big um, I didn't know. yeah uh i really like this and i would purchase it again if it was clean but it's not clean so uh after i'm done with this i'm gonna look for one that's similar but clean yeah is there like, I hope just a little nubbin, just a little nubbin left. You do? Wow. And it also has, like, fallen out a few times, and I've had to push it back in. I just like how easy it is. Like, it's so easy. And I also don't need to use a brush. Look at that! Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm going to try to line my or do like a cat eye ish type situation with my oak and fort liner everybody wish me luck okay well here we go okay so i put faith on the upper part of my eyelid and then i'm gonna do the darker color look out on my lower lashes if just i like fuck up on my first try should i just like not If at first you don't succeed, you can dust yourself off and try again. <gasps> oh my god, I'm doing terribly. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need something. Okay, for my everyday eyeliner that I, 
kind of sort of wing out, I'm using the MAC <clears throat> eyeliner pencil in the color Teddy. And so it's just like a brown color, so I feel like it's a very softer version of like a, a dark black eyeliner look. Yeah, I like to start in the middle and do tiny strokes. I feel like I got an eyelash in my eye. Ooh, my contact lens! Oh! And then just the tiniest little smidgen of a wing. Huh? I don't see anything. Which which eye am I looking at? This uh -oh. one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you know while I'm learning, I should use a pencil oh, instead shit. of a. I didn't want it to wing out that much. No, it looks good. Looks good. It actually doesn't, like when, you, when you're when you not pulling your eye, it doesn't look that big. Did I, did I do a good job? Did I do a good job? She ain't bad. She cute. Should I wait for you to do your eyeliner or should I keep moving? I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's not put ourselves through that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm what are you doing next? to do my brows. Brows? brows? Okay, I'll do my brows then next too. Or a mascara. Do you do ma I, I usually do mascara next. Okay, mascara. Okay. What are you using for your mascara? Um, I was gonna use my Glossier one, but let's switch it up. We're gonna use a Tarte mascara. I don't know what, what it's is called. What's packaging? I don't know. How do you? I don't know. Get it out. <laughs> you twist it. Where? Like a regular. Oh. Like a regular thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tarte mascara. It smells like chocolate for some reason. It does have a smell to it. Yeah. yeah. But let's try it. Okay. I'm using my Ilia mascara. I guess there's a color to it and the color is after midnight. Oh, this is also a clean, clean beauty um, brand or product, I guess you could say. It's the same brand as the um, blush that I used, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the cool thing about this mascara is that it has like the normal. Can you? Hold on. No, you I have, have to, to put your there. Okay, so it has normal bristles, and then it has like this comb. Do you see the comb on the top? On the top there. Mm -hmm. So I use the normal bristles first, and then I use the comb to fluff out my lashes a little bit more. This mascara is I. Like, it's not really giving me the. I mean, for an everyday look, I don't need my lashes to be like va 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 boom. Right. I just need to like look alive a little bit. <laughs> like fake my eyes. Alive. <laughs> just don't want to look dead in the eyes like I normally am. Mm. I don't think mascara helps with that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you still look dead in the eyes. Okay, brows. Brows. I'm gonna use my, you know, right now I feel like this is like my favorite thing. Um, the Milk Ooh. Kush Fiber Brow Gel, and I'm using the color Grind. I'm using the same exact, not the same exact, I'm using the same product, but my color is Diesel, it's darker. Let's and see whose eyebrows look better first. Okay, well, I was gonna say, I'm not completely, I don't know if I'm sold on this brow stuff. Stuff. Really? Yeah. Because I feel like I want, it doesn't, like, hold my brows in place. Like, I, I guess I could put, like, a brow soap on top of it. Mm -hmm. But, like, I want something that makes my brows, like, stick up and then stay like that. And I oh. just feel like this doesn't do that. But maybe I, like I need a separate a... product to do that. 
maybe i just feel like for like an everyday natural brow one that's like not too done it looks like that's what i like and i feel like this does it for me okay, well, let's... wait let's compare brows first i'm not sure okay now let's do our brows and see okay well i don't like to go too heavy with it yeah me either this is an everyday look I look evil right now. Do we both and do it the not... same? We both brush opposite. Mm -hmm. I still like I like to start in the middle when I do it, because oh. that's where I feel like your my brow is naturally the thickest. Yes. Yeah. And then I work my way out. I also like to use a different. Um, brush to like comb my brows in place. Oh, okay. I like to use two different ones actually. <laughs> what is one that? Place. This is an eyebrow pencil that I don't really use because I don't, you're running out of batteries. Oh shoot, it's quite thick. Yeah, it is quite thick, but it does the trick. See, like, I want these front hairs to stick straight up, and I don't think they are. So, first of all, you need to trim the hairs. That's why they're not sticking straight up. They're too long. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I have to, like... You have to groom, groom your my brows. brows. You don't have to tweeze or pluck, but just, like, trim the hair a little bit. Okay, I feel like that's good. Are we brows are done. Brows? They look the same. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So do you have like a lip product that you use every day? Every day? I, my Laneige. Yeah, I'm just gonna lip. Are you high on that stuff? Yeah, I have a lot of lip products, so I feel like I don't really have one that I wear every, every single day. day. Mm -hmm. Today, what do you what'd you pick today? Today I picked, I'm just gonna use the same thing that I use for my cheeks on my lips. So the Ilia Cheek to Cheek Multi Stick. I don't know what color it is. Today I picked the Glossier Generation G lip stuff in the color Like. It's a very pale pink color. And I feel like I have to put it on doesn't like look pale pink. Well, when I put it on, it's kind of like pale pink. I have to put on a lot of it mm. to like get it to show up. But I like for an everyday look, I like products that are super moisturizing and like not that bold. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of that, enough to give me some color. And then I'm gonna add my Laneige lip stuff on top because it's winter and I feel like my lips need all the moisture they can get because they're always dry and cracked and peeling and lately I've just been liking a glossy lip I feel like this gives it a little extra gloss okay I feel like I put on a lot just so that I get yeah you did an amount of color and that does not look like pink to me. No, you know, but like when you look at the thing, doesn't yeah. that look like pink? Like the color, the color sticker, sticker. is like a light pink. Mm -hmm. It's like a Barbie pink. And then you, and then, then I put you, on my lips. <laughs> it looks more like a purple. I still think it's a cute color. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, last, last step. thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a, a face mist moisturizer. The one I'm going to be using is. Say Biosance. Biosance. Is it French? Micro. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Micronutrient fine mist. And I just use the Tarte Stay Spray. Wanna I want to smell what yours smells like. Go ahead, spray. It smells like. Oh. Like. Mm, it smells like the sea a little bit. Yeah. Okay, what does mine smell like? Are we ready? Wait, take take a whiff of something else. <laughs> hang okay. on, hang on. <laughs> Let me just smell my mascara really quick. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. it smells like perfume. It smells like cucumber melon to me. 
Yeah, like something you would get at Bath and Body Works or something like that. Not I mean, that it's not that wrong. It's with not it. that strong of yeah, a smell. Yeah, but it has a smell to it. All right. Okay. Here and the now, books. and now we do the. Oh. I slept on my <laughs> neck rock, so I don't have full mobility. This is our everyday makeup look. If you follow us on Instagram. This is pretty much what we would do all the time. For our Instagram photos. Yep. You know, we'll switch out the lip a little bit, but maybe throw part, on some eyeshadow. But yeah, for the most part, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah. Speaking of Instagram, yes. Please give us a follow on our Instagram channels. <laughs> we'll put it in the description box down below. I'm at Cat dot sheer and I'm at Kim side and sticker and also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of us please subscribe mm -hmm. we try to put out a new video every week that's I think that's it what are you where are you going now that you have your makeup done for the day I have some errands to run and then I'm gonna go to therapy I'm gonna get my <laughs> hair cut oh yeah do I need to get my hair cut? No, it's good. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks so for much watching. for watching. Bye. Bye. See you next time. All right. <laughs>